Good evening and welcome to day three or night three of our Pentecost Novena in honor of the Holy Spirit of God. And I welcome you. It's going dark now here in Storth in the South Lakes in the UK. We've had a beautiful day, warm sunshine, and just a glorious place to be in the Cathedral of God, the landscape. <clears throat> this evening I have lit this simple light and we dedicate it for the intentions of our Novena. And day three, we look at people marginalized by religious beliefs. And we're seeing it more common now, even within the Christian family, but all the world major religions, there seems to be a lack of respect, tolerance, compassion. And part of our novena, <clears throat> especially this evening, is to raise awareness of children of God marginalized because of their religious beliefs. So we pray. We pray a simple prayer. We take a deep breath. And we relax as we breathe out and find solace in the presence of God. Relax now. Be still and know that God is here. And whatever we do in love, we know that God is with us. So this evening, <clears throat> we're going to begin with the introduction prayer, the opening hymn of our Navina. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Hearts which thou hast made. <clears throat> and now we come to our act of consecration to the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Most Holy Trinity. Holy Ghost, I consecrate to thee my body with its senses, and I beg of thee to employ them for the greater glory of God. Holy Spirit, I consecrate to thee my eyes that they may look upon and only upon my Jesus. Holy Spirit, I consecrate to thee my ears, that they may be attentive only to thy divine inspirations. Holy Spirit, I consecrate to thee all myself, my whole self, for him the Beloved. Holy Spirit, I consecrate to thee my heart with all its affections that captivated alone by the charms and the delights of thy love. It may ever find in thee peace, truth and strength, light and all thy gifts and fruits that loving thee every day more and more and making thee loved by many souls and by the whole world, were it possible, thou mayest also love me more and more and make me holy with all those that I love. And now we play the Vene Sancte Spiritus, or parts of it, from Teze. So just sit back and relax. Spiritus, 
this evening and we pray together you may wish to say it after me let us pray O spirit of wisdom preside over all my thoughts words and actions so that in all things I may love God for his own sake above all things spirit of understanding do thou teach and enlighten me 
so that I may never waver in my holy faith, but ever enjoy true peace of mind and heart. Spirit of knowledge, teach me how to look at all things in their true light, so that I may not be kept bound by an undue attachment to earthly matters, but ever enjoy and rejoice in heavenly comforts. Spirit of counsel, lead me into all the ways of prudence, so that on all occasions I may do what is proper, and show myself discreet, yet showing true love and forbearance in the daily relation with my fellow man. Spirit of fortitude, Strengthen my weakness so that I may not be discouraged by any obstacle in the path of virtue, but humbly and willingly submit to the crosses and trials of life. Spirit of piety, implant in my soul filial love and affection towards God and my heavenly father mother and a brotherly love towards all men so as to truly delight in the service of god and my neighbor let us be still let us be still and hear the words of god speak to our hearts for the third day of the gift of piety and we read from our notes for this novena the gift of piety begets in our hearts a filial affection for God as our most loving father mother God it inspires us to love and respect for their sake persons and things consecrated to God, as well as those who are vested with God's authority, his blessed mother and the saints, the church and its visible head, and of course our parents and superiors. He who is filled with the gift of piety finds the practice of his religion not a burdensome duty a delightful service. Where there is love, there is labor. And in the monastery, when I was a young nursing monk, we had a, a motif that said, ora et labore, labor while you work or labor while you pray. Let us pray. Come, O blessed Spirit, possess my heart, enkindle therein 
such a love of God that I may find satisfaction only in God's service and for God's sake lovingly submit to all legitimate authority. Be still. Be still and know that God is present. And we come to reflect now on the theme of day three. Brothers and sisters, children of God, who are marginalized because of their belief in God. Do I marginalize others because they are not of my faith or of my church? Do I sit in condemnation, rejection? Do I make life difficult for others who do not share my belief? Or do I ignore them in charity? Let us call on the Spirit of God to guide our hearts. And if we are found guilty, then let us name those issues. Let us bless them and release them to God and give thanks that we've been set free. And now we sit in silence where we are in the world and we invite, invoke and call upon the Spirit of God to come into our heart and prepare us for the rebirthing of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit in our life, in our mind, in our heart and in our spirit on Pentecost Day. So let us just relax now and be aware. We ask the Spirit of God to give us the spirit of piety, to reawaken within us the joy of being in service to God, a loving God. A God of peace, a God who is love, a God who is joy. Just listen to this beautiful piece of music by Tom Kenyon and just visualize Mother Mary crying out to the world for the children of God to return to her beloved son. Thank you. 
conclude by sharing with you a message from Jesus for your heart. Do not long for the absence of problems in your life. That is, that is an unrealistic goal, since in this world you will have trouble. You have an eternity of problem-free living reserved for you in heaven. Rejoice in that inheritance, which no one can take away from you, but do not seek your heaven on earth. Begin each day anticipating problems, asking me to equip you for whatever difficulties you will encounter in your daily life. The best equipping is my loving presence, my hand that never goes that lets go of your hand. Discuss everything with me. Take a light-hearted view of trouble, seeing it is a challenge that you and I together can handle. Wow. Remember that I am on your side and I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. And there we have it. We have words from the beloved Lord himself. So let us now not lose heart, but to trust in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and to value the true meaning of faith and also to remember those poor unfortunate people who are being marginalized because of their religious belief. Let us not join the Magni crowd who seek revenge on labeling groups of people. We have an upsurge in anti-Semitism and in parts of the world we have many who are turning against Muslims because of the terrorist activity as they did back in the 70s, 60s and 70s here in the UK and in Ireland with the troubles caused by the IRA. Let us move away from condemnation and embrace, and embrace the spirit of piety. Thank you for being here. May God reward you. And as I hold this flame, I ask the Holy Spirit of God to come upon you now and to fill you with the gift of piety in the presence of Father, Mother, God. Namaste, Shalom. Inshallah, Paxet Bonem Om Shanti. Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum. And may the peace of God reign supreme in your heart this evening. Or it may be morning where you are. Relax in God's love. And remember, you're never alone.